This week we travel to the lovely town of Whitchurch, but before that we're going to travel down the one mile navigable stretch of the Prees branch to Wixall Marina where we'll fill up with water, have a coffee and a cake and find a nice quiet spot to moor up. There's always a gale when we're pulling into marinas and uh, today is no exception as you can see from the flag flying but fortunately it's blowing in the right direction and pushing me to the services point where we're going to fill up with water and uh, pop in the cafe and have a cake and coffee. Well, we did find ourselves a nice mooring spot on the Prees branch, nice and quiet. But boy, is it muddy. We've had so much rain these last few weeks. It is a quagmire and he's jumped off. If he thinks he's coming back on again, he can forget it. Look at the state of that. Mm. We are heading into Wychurch Town Centre. We're moored on the arm here, Wychurch arm? Canal Arm, <laughs> <laughs> which is owned by the Wychurch Canal Arm Trust. <laughs> and the plans were to uh, extend it further into town, um, but they haven't raised funds enough yet. But there is a quarter of a mile section open, which is where we are now, which was opened in 1993. Uh, and that's as far as they've got. But, uh, oh, they're supposed to be doing a marina as well. I don't know. There was, I think there was plans for a marina. Yeah, they haven't rece received the funds they need, so I think it's just on hold at the moment. But it would be nice. It would be a lovely little uh, place to be, closer to the town of Wichert, which is a nice little town. It's about a 20-minute walk for us to get into town, yeah. which is, in some ways, it's quite nice because you're out of town on the canal. It's more, you know, you're quiet here. And if you want to get into town, it's not too bad a walk, really. No. But we've moored here quite a few times and it's a nice peaceful little respite when the Flag Offland Canal is really busy in the summer it's nice to hide just down here <laughs> hide down here yeah for a couple of days and uh, gather your thoughts but it's good isn't it you're allowed to stay here for 48 hours so uh, all year round that is 
So um, they actually own this arm, the Wood Church Trust, and they also own this bridge behind us, in front of us rather, which is Chemistry Bridge. Um, the whole the whole area is called Chemistry, and I yeah. uh, don't know why, but <laughs> I guess there's a good reason. So anyway, we've got parcels to uh, get to the post office. We've had a morning of wrapping and addressing and sorting out emails <laughs> and uh, it, we've had a real slow start I think it's about half past one now and we're just the dogs have had a really good walk when we first came back here yesterday I was a bit reluctant to come back to Whitchurch because we've moored here a few times but I've just had the loveliest walk with the dogs up through Country Park through Woodland along the canal just it's a lovely place to stop going in the dark now. So yeah we're going just going through this longer bridge here. This would have been the canal bridge yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah we're following the route of the canal <laughs> as was and you'll see in a second that um, any plan to move to continue the canal into town has got to take a different route than before because it's been built on. There's a housing estate there isn't there? Yeah there is. But yeah we've got a big um, bag of parcels to post so thank you to everybody that's ordered weavings and paintings yeah. from us. All in my um, backpack. We're not really moaning about doing the wrapping because it's exciting. And also, um, I want a new book to read. I've set myself, foolishly, set myself a challenge of reading 20 books this year, which doesn't sound a lot. <sighs> um, and I'm getting a bit behind time. But yeah, I've got so many books on the boat to read, but I fancy, I really fancy getting my teeth into a novel. So we're going to go to a charity shop, but I just haven't got room for more, but more books. So this is books going to charity shop, um, and that gives me room to buy a new book and a good juicy novel to read. I think. Yeah, a nice thick one. Yeah. Or oh, you're going to read twenty thin pamphlet books. I'm going to no, not pamphlets. I've got to, and the thing I really want to read is Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, which I've got, but I'm not a quick reader, and I think that's probably going to take me a month. So I've got to read a few small books and catch up so I can give myself a month to read Canterbury Tales. That's the, that's the plan. Right. Well, this is the site here <laughs> behind us where a little river runs through and, the, and um, they could actually fill this from the river and make a basin out of it. But uh, how long that will take or if it ever will happen, who knows? So, yeah, as you can see, it was meant to be a marina here. We're here now, yeah. so the area in front of us should be a marina. A great yeah. little uh, information board there about the canal arm. And yeah, that's where they were hoping to put a marina. Still, if anybody's got a million pounds, it can be done, so <laughs> donate. So if you haven't visited our website, go and have a look, floatingourboat.com. There you can buy Franz Weavings, and also my paintings there is also a link there to our merchandise where you can get mugs and t-shirts and other quality items and there's also um, a link to my blog i try to write generally a monthly blog um, members also get a weekly well ish blog <laughs> <laughs> um, an update but i try to write a monthly blog about the nature around us some places that we've been that you know you might find interesting um, there's photographs on there, all sorts of yes, stuff. Yes, and there, recipes. So. Did you say recipes? Recipes. I haven't yeah. updated recipes for about a Doesn't year. Doesn't matter. There's enough recipes on there to keep you going weekly. Yeah. Just alternate every day, <laughs> different recipe. But yeah, floatingourboat.com. Go and have a look. So that's the line of the canal as was, and as you can see, uh, the original line's been built on. So they would have to take that route there, I think to uh, continue the canal into town if it ever happens we would normally walk that way but the last time we went down there fran it was an absolute quagmire wasn't it we've had so much rain and it's probably been the muddiest year that we can recall mm. on the canal so last week we've just got we have got really tired of cleaning the dogs um, absolutely i've got to go on the other side oops See, what a gentleman <laughs> But yeah, you get on with it. But yeah, we're ready for sunshine and dry weather now. Aren't we just?
Ooh, look at the size of that. You know, you could eat these. There's layers of recipes for them, but the trouble is they're always growing in somebody's garden. It's not exactly wild food foraging. I don't think people would appreciate no. if I started picking their magnolia buds. Don't listen to her, folks. <laughs> She'll tell you any old rubbish. It's true. Well, there's a little front garden up here that we always admire every time we go past. <laughs> At the moment, it's crammed with hellebores. In fact, the last scarf that went... Well, it's in my bag waiting to be posted, was inspired by these hellebores. It's all shades of pink. This, this is beautiful, isn't it? Look, hope they don't mind us filming. Those pinks and purples, that, that was such a, a, a sight. I just had to weave it. We're continuing the line of the old canal, which has now been filled in and would have ended in a basin across the road where that park is now. And there were warehouses around for loading and unloading, etc. The red line shows the current extent of the navigation into Whitchurch, and the white line shows you where it used to go all those years ago before it was filled in and built over. Beautiful church of St Elkman's. Sadly we can't go in, there's a funeral service on at the moment. But this is the High Street and uh, some lovely independent shops down here, Frank. There are and um, I've got some birthday money from my sister to spend. Oh. And I'm looking for a nice jumper and it's the sort of thing that you can't really buy in charity shops. Really good jumpers, so we so you, have you, a look. you're not keen to spend it on me in that Italian restaurant over there? No. <laughs> You've got to book in advance for that. Plenty of hair salons. Nice gallery with framing facilities. This is a shop I've never seen open. <laughs> But just down here is a refill shop that's uh, called Refill Your Boots. So we're going to pop in there and get a few things. So here we are in Refill Your Boots. Got everything in here from nuts, pulses, cereals, tea, and also furniture paint. What are we getting today, Fran? I don't think we're getting furniture paint. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want some relieved. loose tea. We've got toothpaste. We have started using the little toothpaste tablets that come in a paper bag, yeah. rather than using mm -hmm. plastic toothbrush tubes. Um, or even toothpaste tubes. Toothpaste tubes. <laughs> um, and I've got in my bag, I'm organized, uh, hand wash. Refill. I need, please. Cool. And look dog biscuits made from craft brewery leftovers. I think our dogs deserve a box of that. I think they'd like them, wouldn't they? Sure yeah. they would. Yeah. Yeah, and I want some tea, please. Anyone for tea? Oh, look at that, they're big leaves, aren't they? See, that's well. proper peppermint, isn't it? That's proper. Is it tea in it as well, or is it just peppermint? No, it's just peppermint. Perfect. Mm. I'm a coffee man myself. 100 grams of bicarb as well, please. Uh, Fran? What's what? Just saying. I think this is the best filled and most organised refill shop we've ever been in, Yeah, don't we? we have been in one or two that have been dodgy to say that. A little bit dodgy. <laughs> but, and friendly. And friendly well. of course. <laughs> Come on, we've got eggs to get. <laughs> There's nice things. <laughs> Cheerio. Thank you. Bye. This is a bit of an emporium over there. It's, it's uh, for charity but it's huge. And they've oh. got loads of stuff in there haven't Should they? Should I take my books in there then? Yeah. Oh, they've got a flower pot. I've wanted a flower bin, haven't I? Look, but it needs a lid on it. It needs a lid for, yeah.
although we stream music and watch films online, sometimes more often than not in this canal especially, <laughs> we can't get a signal, Wi-Fi signal. So uh, we've still been buying DVDs and CDs. And we had the Godfather trilogy, didn't we, the other day? We, did. we sat through that for yeah. a, a weekend. It was yeah. brilliant. Yeah, and it only cost me like one pound fifty for the three. <laughs> It was a four CD set, you've got uh, extras on it as well. It just means at night so you haven't got to stress out if you, you know, you really don't want to sit crafting, you want to watch stuff and there's no internet, or you can just stick something in. Down there is the Egg Emporium, oh, yeah. but we've got to go to the uh, post office first. Oh, I've forgotten about the parcels. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole reason we came into town. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a lovely town, some lovely buildings and some fabulous independent yeah. shops. Well, you're never far from refreshments in Wychurch. Cafes there are plenty of, and pubs there are more than plenty of. And this is called the Old Town Vaults. But we're only going in here because they sell local eggs. Indeed. <laughs> it's a Jules pub, Jules Brewery pub, and they are excellent beer, so let's go and have a look. That's a bonus then, isn't it, Fran? Beer and eggs. Are they hard boiled? <laughs> Egg curry tonight. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed our little trip around Witchurch. Back to the boat now for Fran to cook a curry. Yeah, we've got books to read, fire to relight, curry to cook, dogs to walk, and. Um, dogs to walk yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Cheers now. Bye. A massive thank you to everybody that supports the channel through Patreon, Ko-fi or YouTube membership and to everybody who buys our products and merchandise it really is appreciated. And if you've liked this video please subscribe and like and go back and watch all our other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.